You are watching Father Fish. Now please enjoy the video. We are, you and I, we are one with the world of life. Our home is in the world of life. Our home, our real home, is in the world of life. Our home, our home, what home? Our home, the home, the place we live is filled with life. All life is blessed to us, by us, about us, with us, for us. It's a blessing, a blessing. It's not a curse. It's not something awful. It's a blessing. The, the tiny little animals are our most delightful gifts, all these guys. Delightful gifts. They fill our hearts and our homes with their spirit. They do. The beauty and the peace of these little creatures surround us. Just sitting here, I feel this. It, it becomes part of what I'm doing here with hearts and hands we care for these tiny children they are our children the creatures of the earth are our children with our hearts and our hands we care for them they are gifts from God to bless our lives. We need to teach people how to bring, how to bring life into their homes. How to share their private and personal space with, with these living gifts. How to learn to care for and to cherish the lives of these creatures. Don't, don't be separated from nature. This is the lesson. Do not be separated from nature, but be joined with all living creatures. That's not a mystical thing. It can be, I suppose. It's a very real physical thing to be joined with other living creatures. The tiny fish, the insects, <clears throat> small living creatures, they touch us. They touch our life. We find peace and love in their presence in our lives. But we, we seek to learn to build homes for them where they can escape their enemies. Now that's important. The animals we bring into our homes live many, many years longer than their cousins do in the wild because they're gobbled up or they're beaten up by something or whatever. They don't live long out there. We bring them in, we give them shelter, we give them care, we learn to build the kind of home they're happy in, and they live for us. And they live before us. Providing a home in your home it is precisely what God gave Adam and Eve in the garden. That was their home. Watch them. Watch them as they grow, as they fill up their space, as they, as they have babies, as they multiply, and then spread the joy. Teach others how to do this. Teach others how to set up these same little, little tiny homes these little environments that, that allow more and more people to have living creatures in their home that are happy and healthy. 
Hmm. The wonderful creatures we make sure that others may know the love of God in nature. Be filled with this. Be filled with the beauty and the joy of what you're doing and share it. Share it. Learn to do it in a way that is so simple and so basic that a three-year-old can do it. And a little nine-year-old boy contact me today. Wanted to set up a wall stead tank. We got him going. Nine years old. He's doing it. I've had five-year-olds do it. A little dirt, little sand, some plants, a couple of fish. You're good to go. It's easy. It's simple. It's basic. It's life. It's the joy of what we're about. So that's what I'm about. I'm not trying to beat anybody up. I'm just trying to help people find, find a way that's really successful and simple to do what they're trying to do, to make it work, to make it joyous, to make it something special and beautiful. That's all. Love you. Bye for now.